Hi, I'm Bob Hot Rod Roar from Kalepi. I want to show you a 644 series motorized ball valve. Just as the name implies, this is a ball valve that just a motor opens and closes. So think of just a manual ball valve that you'd have on your water main or something where you put your hand on and you turn it open and close. Basically what's in this valve, but we just put a motor on it. Looking at this valve here, we've got a forged body. It's available in three different pipe connection sizes. We've got a half inch, three quarter, and one inch. And what's nice about this, it goes in with a union connection. It's got a captive O-ring in it, so you can sweat your adapters into your plumbing system first, and then you come back, and now you can uh, put the valve into it. Another nice feature about this valve is the actuator comes off very easily. You spring the two, uh, a little spring clip there, squeeze it together, and you can pull it off. Underneath there, now you'll see the actuator um, goes into a little uh, slot in there. You could put a screwdriver in there if you wanted to manually uh, open and close this valve to make sure that you've got everything plumbed up properly before you snap the actuator back onto it. Now the actuator can be used as an open and close, so if you just want to use this as a two-way valve to, to turn the flow on and off, um, it can go open and close, or you could put a modulating control that would operate this actuator, like a Tecmar control, for example, would be one brand. So then, then this could modulate, so it could be used to do uh, mixed temperatures. It could be very accurate if you put a, a, con a control that can drive this actuator to different ranges. That being the case, this valve, you're going to notice, has more wires than a typical flapper type of zone valve because with this type of valve, it's not a spring return like a flapper zone valve. So you've got to power this valve open and then you've got to power it closed. So that's going to require more wires to do that. So let me just quickly run through the wires here. And again, this is a good one to read through the directions first because we've got a wiring schematic on the valve here underneath it, but also in the directions, it shows you how to wire that. So looking at the wires, we'll start on this side. The green, uh, yellow is always a ground wire. That's just an international um, color for ground. And then the um, red and whites will be an end switch. This does have an end switch in it that could switch on a boiler, a TT a terminal on a uh, zone relay box or something like that. So there's um, your end switch wires there. And now you've got three wires left here. So you've got your black as your common, and then you've got a blue and you've got a um, a brown. So one's going to power it open and then the other pair is going to power it closed. So you're going to need a, um, a relay that you can power this from one way or the other because it's not going to spring closed. Another interesting thing about this valve is since it is used as a control valve in a lot of instances where it's got to modulate, it's got to have a good connection from the actuator to the stem. And what Cluffy does that's unique, and you'll see it on the little uh, graphic there, is we put a little wear compensator that we build into that. And basically what it is, it's got a tab that comes down on this, so if there's any wear in this valve, the tension keeps that tight in there, so there's never any slop or any play, so it's always going to be accurate. If it's constantly modulating like that, you want to make sure that that's always in the right position, so we build that wear compensator into it. It's a unique valve. It's got a high shutoff pressure. It's got 150 psi shutoff. Now that's not the operating pressure I'm talking about. That's the delta P or the differential pressure that it'll shut off again. So that's typically about twice what you're going to see in a flapper type of spring return zone valve because it is a powered valve both ways. So that's the beauty of this valve if you need a valve with a higher shutoff pressure and the high flow. Because if you can see down the bore of that um, body there, you'll notice it's a full port ball valve. So that's how we can get such high flow rates through this. It is available, and this is a very common use for this valve as a three-way valve. So now it can be used as a, a bypass or a diverting valve. We offer both bodies um, in both configurations on the three-way as well as the two-way um, straight-through version of it. So it's a very unique valve. It's got a lot of unique applications, quality like everything else that Cluffy makes, the machine work, the way it assembles. Um, it's a great little valve. It's one that you should remember, and uh, that's our 644 valve.